Hey guys, Anford I'm here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys the 13W06A snapshot. Now, for the most part, this snapshot is really just a whole bunch of bug fixes, but there are a couple of bug fixes here and there that are going to be useful for map makers to know about. And I figured because it's a snapshot that's only bug fixes, not many people are probably going to wind up covering it. You, you are standing on top of this thing that I have created. I don't want you standing there. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, uh, if you guys want do want to see the one new feature that was added into the snapshot, feel free to check out Seth Bling's video. Okay, hey, what, they're, they're toying with me now. <laughs> feel free to check out Seth Bling's video on spawner minecarts, where basically now any, any weird little oddity thing you could do with spawners, you can now have them be in minecarts, which allows you to toggle them with dispensers or the, the, uh, the dropper tools, and it allows you to do some really cool stuff. So again, I highly recommend you check out his video, uh, because it is really quite awesome. But anyways, let's just gonna go, let's just go ahead and let's launch right into it here. So, uh, again, everything that I'm going to be covering in the snapshot is ju just bug fixes, so it's not going to take me very long to run through everything, so stick around till the end and we'll do some fun stuff. But, uh, basically, so starting off here, uh, before when pigs would stand on these half slabs, and these are half slabs that are sitting on the bottom of blocks, as you can see here, uh, when, typically they would just jump, like, infinitely. They would just jump up and down, up and down, up and down, and they just, there would be no stopping them. But now, that has been fixed. Another thing that has been fixed, let's just go ahead, I think I actually need to set this one up because I forgot to, um, let's just see here, glass pane, let's see, let's set myself up with a glass pane, and iron bars. So, previously, when you would have a block above and below, or above and or below an iron bar and a glass pane, typically what they would do is they would quadruplane, or they would plane all over the place, and what I mean by that is, uh, when they would be like this, there would be this bottom bar that would be right here and would ju just be derping all around the block. It would just, like it would be like um, flickering, I guess is the best way I can put it. But now you no longer actually see the bar itself. I think it's if you kind of look carefully, it's going a little bit into the block now, so you don't even see the fact that it's there. And I think if I probably use a regular glass block, I don't think I don't think it's going to. Let's see, let's see here. Yeah, see, so the line is actually going into the block. You can kind of see it there if you look really, really carefully at as to where it's uh, where it's going in there. So yeah, that's something that has been fixed. I guess it's just really a minor annoyance that has now been fixed. Uh, another thing that apparently started in 1.4.7 is that you could not see transparency through the bottom side of cloud blocks, but now you can. If you take a look, you can actually see the sun through the cloud there, and that is something that is really cool, I guess. It's not even something that I noticed, but I think that's also because I keep my clouds off, which I don't really think I should. I mean, they make things look super duper awesome. Yeah. So another thing that has been fixed as well, uh, it's really hard to demonstrate, but uh, previously, uh, the baby mobs that, that, you know, that would run around and stuff would have the same hitbox, or at least I think the same hitbox as their adult counterparts. Uh, but now, as you can see, if I click very closely around this chicken here, uh, well, that was close enough, I guess. But if I click close around it, it doesn't actually hit the chicken itself there because the collision boxes have been fixed and now they act, they have the collision boxes of babies now. So essentially what I'm trying to say there is it is now a little bit harder to hit them. Really? Really? The villagers really have the capacity to make this mistake. Get out of there! That This is honestly what the well should like. They should, they should have a broken side. Uh, but anyways, moving on here. So another big thing that was fixed, or I shouldn't say a big thing, but another thing that was fixed is typically, whenever a village would spawn, you would see the torches sort of floating right next to the block. And I'm not sure which version this started in, but uh, I'll probably have something overlaying on the screen that shows what used to happen. Now they all spawn properly. So yeah, another thing that I wanted to mention as well, speaking of lighting, is that there were some uh, some minor lighting fixes, though uh, it w uh, Mojang didn't go into detail as to exactly what was fixed, so I can't actually explain it here in this video. But uh, anyways, moving on here, the uh, the hitboxes for corner fences have now been fixed. If you guys recall, if you ever did parkour, or even if you have a parkour map that you might want to consider fixing this if you've ever dealt with this, but previously, uh, I could not walk into this corner fencing here. It would block me right here, and I'd have to to kind of do a jump right here to get over here but now when I uh, I can just go all the way in and then if I go ahead and I go around to the side here you can see that I can go all the way around the corner now uh, so yeah the corner fences now have correct hitboxes so moving on here uh, one thing again I don't think I set up for this one uh, previously uh, 
At least, I think this only started in a snapshot, but if you were to place double chests together, and yes, double chests do now work, uh, and then you were to exit the map and then uh, come back, you would hear two sounds, or sometimes you wouldn't hear them at all, depending on the arrangement, I guess. But uh, now, you just hear them like one normal chest. If I were to exit and leave, if I were to leave the map and come back, it would still only play the one sound. So yeah, anyways, um, but in a couple of snapshots, the past couple, I think since 13W03A, the top text here was gone for some weird reason. It's not that it was really ever important, but I guess, I guess it kind of was. But now, it now says villager up top again, I guess in case you didn't know what you were trading with. Uh, I hope this is something that's modifiable though, uh, depending on the villager's name. Let's actually check that, I'm a little bit curious. Uh, let's see here, anvil, I'm really curious because I've never tested this before. Let's see here. Anvil. Let's go ahead and let's rename the villager, the spawn villager to, let's see here. Jim. Yeah, that's that's so that's so original. But um anyways, let's see here. Jim. Whoa, did I spawn baby Jim? What's going on here? I think I <laughs> I spawned baby villagers by right clicking by right clicking on the main villager. I spawned baby villagers. I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> let's try that with pigs. I'm a little bit curious here. This is like me just messing around. Okay, let's see here. Spawn pig. Yeah, you can spawn mini pigs by right-clicking on a regular pig a whole bunch of times. Did not know that. If that's not a new feature, well, so be it. I did not know about it. Anyways, so yeah, it actually says gym right here. So that can be very useful when creating custom maps and stuff like that. And now this area is, is, it, it, it is noise. It is totally noise. But uh, anyways, moving on here. Uh, something that I didn't really know about, though, can make a cool-looking design here. Um... Previously, and a couple of snapshots ago, and possibly in 1.4, when you would place blocks to the east of the hopper here, so let me go ahead and let me hit F3 here, let's go ahead and let's face east, so when you would place a block to the east right here, the inside of the hopper were turned completely black. And, uh, yeah, that was a bug, but now it isn't. But something I thought was kind of cool is that when you place the stone in this arrangement, you can kind of have a, kind of a cool little uh, fire pit here. And I've actually seen someone do this before with cauldrons, and it looked really cool because the fire just kind of protrudes a little bit. Uh, yeah, you can see that there. That looks really, really cool in my opinion. Um, just felt like throwing that out there. But uh, anyways, there was a couple of uh, redstone fixes as well. Uh, the comparators not updating their, their signal was fixed. The scoreboards uh, got a couple of bug fixes. And falling sand support was added for blocks above 128. Meaning if like a mob spawner tried to spawn something with a falling sand ID, it wouldn't work above 128. But uh, anyways, now that I've covered everything that has to do with the snapshot, let's do something that's a little bit fun. Because I feel like doing so. As you can see, I have iron armor on, I have arrows, and I have stuff. You've probably seen that I've had the stuff to create a wither in my inventory for a while. I just kind of feel like killing a wither. Um, I don't know why. I just, I just feel like it. <laughs> We're at the end of our snapshot now, so I hope you all have enjoyed the snapshot. Now, let's go ahead. Let's see. Game mode S. I kind of felt like doing this because uh, there wasn't a whole lot to do with the snapshot except for the one main thing that was added that Sethling demonstrated. So let's go ahead. Let oh god, I have a feeling this, this could be very bad if I spawn it this close. But you know what? It's too late now. Too late now. Let's just go ahead. Let's go ahead and let's do this here. Wait a minute. Wither, why you know spawn it? Is it because I'm on peaceful mode? I think it is. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's try that again. Or maybe... Oh, okay, wait a minute. Maybe I have to place these second. Or maybe I have to place these last, rather. Did not know that. But okay, fair enough. Okay, let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's do this. Let's fight a wither at night. One, two, three. There we go. Whoa! That's a bug and a half. Or is that just a- is that a glitch of some sort? I'm- it's gonna explode anyways. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, let's kill you. Oh god. Oh my god. Wither effect like crazy. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, it's gonna kill everything! It's gonna kill every- I have no idea, like, if my health is at- Oh my god! Okay, let's use this village- Let's use this village as a way to kill the wither. If- if- if we even can. Let's just, let's use this as an obstacle with which to kill the <laughs> He's regenerating too fast. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Let's 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 have him fight around here. Oh god, the arrows aren't doing the trick. Okay, come on! Come 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 at my level! Come at me! Wait, where are you? Okay. Get hit! Get hit! Get hit! No, no you don't. Aw, oh, crap. I'm so dead, aren't I? I'm so dead. Hang on. Wait. Escape. 
Okay. Game rule keep in keep inventory true. Ah, nice. Ah, oh, but that didn't work. Okay, I'm way back here, and the village I need to go to is way far away. <laughs> I suppose I have a thing or two to learn from the withers. So anyways, guys, I hope you all have enjoyed this snapshot review. My spiders and endermen are white because this texture pack is not properly set up. And <laughs> I hope you all have enjoyed this snapshot. Uh, my name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.